Hey, this is Breck Palumbo from breckpalumbo.com and from the podcast Bootstrapped with Kids. And today I'm walking over the businesssoftware.org website for uh, Mark. Mark Littlewood is the, he's one of the uh, promoters of business software. And what I want to do is I had a little communication with him. He had heard one of our podcasts where we kind of went through uh, one particular website that we wanted to take a look at and kind of talked about. Anyway, it's a breakdown. And so that's what I'm going to do here today. He's asked me to go through and do a breakdown for him. So um, the first thing I'd say, Mark, when I land here is it doesn't say what you are or what you do. It assumes that I know. So it says business is software. I see that there's a date. It doesn't say anywhere that uh, this is a conference or who this conference is for. I mean, I, there's a lot of things that I can infer but it doesn't say it doesn't say anything directly here about about who you are uh, or what you do, unless I want to get deeper into this a little bit. I mean, as I've poured over your site, there's really three main goals that I see that you've set up here. One is you want to collect somebody's email address. The second is you want to get somebody to register for your upcoming. Uh, course, uh, uh, rather upcoming conference. And then finally, I saw deeper in some pages that you also have some courses for sale or some back video library or catalog uh, for sale, which people can get and then they can access uh, on their own on their own time. So as I look at this, the first thing that I see is, and I think the first thing you should go after is, is getting somebody's email address. Sign up for updates is lackluster. Updates on updates on what? I guess updates on I guess updates on this. But what's in this for me? If I sign up for updates, what am I going to get? I guess I'm just going to get a bunch of emails from you, and that doesn't really sound like something that I want. I don't know how this is working for you, but I would consider putting in. And at the end, I'm going to give you some specific recommendations. Um, but I would consider putting something in here for me, uh, not just for you, because as I read sign up for updates, that doesn't sound like I'm, I'm going to get anything that uh, is necessarily going to benefit me. W-I-I-F-M, Mark. Uh, what's in it for me? So um, the second thing is register. So Great. I think you should have a register now button, but you should tell me what I'm registering for. I see, again, this is where you just haven't really communicated what the what it is uh, and that it's a, a, a conference for uh, for software founders, for software startups. So and I'm, I have some specific recommendations again that I'm going to get to in a minute. Um, the third thing, selling access to the video library. I don't see that presented uh, anywhere here. I think that's probably fine. But but what I think about is a funnel from getting someone from here to um, through the whole thing. Maybe consider if you're going to be selling those videos that you're going to give it as a bonus. Um, there's a lot of different things that we can do here. I want to talk about the layout of the page. So as I come down here, this looks like something I can click on. I can't click on this. I can click this all day. I'm not going anywhere. And then as I come down here, this also looks like something I can click on. I can't click on it. All right, now this is a button. Now I know I can click on that because I've got the I've got the mouse finger. But then but then I can click on this. So how come I can click on this, but then I, I can't click on this, and I can't click on this, and these are at the top, but then I can click on this. This doesn't make any this doesn't make any sense to me. And then if all of this is white, then I can click here and this is and these are all white. And so this, I think there's a disconnect where you're not necessarily, there's a lot of links that I can do here, but it's not consistent. So we never know, we never know what we can click on. Some things we can click on, some things we can't click on. Like, why can't I click on that if I can click on this? It, I'm not, this I'm not following. So we come down here. Uh, I think this is all fine. I want to take a look at, I mean, I, I like, like here's some number seven years it, it tells me uh, I mean there's some credibility here all these faces this gives you great social proof and, and credibility I think that's that's uh, awesome um, when I get down here okay so here again it's like that is a link and that and so this is a link to they're they're linked to the same thing 
I guess they're all links. Everything is a link, except for the things that I would expect to be links up here, I guess. And so as I come down through here, I'd, I'd also, I'd wonder why you're consuming, I guess maybe this is a best practice somewhere at some point in time. I don't know that that's true today, but I don't think I would take up this kind of real estate for search. I would wonder how many people are coming here and using this search. If, if there's an abundance of people, then I'm ready to be wrong. Uh, but I would guess that this is probably not being used that often. And I would consider putting it down, uh, down here in the bottom. Um, I want to talk about your markup. The H tags, your header tags are not being used, right? Um, at least not in terms of being found for anything. You've got an H2. So we open up, um, we open up with an H2 tag that says sign up for updates. I don't know that this is the most distinct uh, language that you could use in order to really tell Google and the world what your site is about. So, uh, you know, header tags are not just for uh, markup for for styling. That's that's this is uh, not how you want to use this. If you wanted to say um, something else here, I, I guess you could you could figure out another way to um, to make this work. But you want to get your keywords in here. There's nothing about conference or Boston or business software or anything. This isn't not is not the right way to use an H2 to do for, sign up for updates. And then when I come down into H your H1 tag, okay, this is good. You've got business and software Boston. Uh, 2013. I don't know that I would necessarily break my uh, H1 tag up with. Uh, well, I guess you just get business software here, and and uh, and that's okay. Then as I come down, okay, save 600. All right, that's registration open. Hmm, okay, some H3s. Now we get real weird. Uh, H27. Okay, uh, H. 218. This isn't. I mean, this doesn't definitely isn't helping you at all. And these. It, as I look at these, these are purely being used for styling without any consideration for being found, which I would think would be would be pretty key uh, over time. Or maybe you don't care about SEO. Uh, and so again, we're doing this all throughout the page, H2, H3. Um, now we get into more H2s. Okay, now this is starting to make a little more sense maybe. Um, but you've just got an awful lot of stuff on this page. Here's we've got an H1 uh, with updates, ampersand, blogs. This I would consider reworking the entire way that you're handling your uh, header tags. I think that you're doing yourself a disservice by doing things like updates and blogs and an H1, and then you're doing an H2 with just a number. Uh, you got you know, you're full, we're full of H2s everywhere. Um, there's a hierarchy. There's a reason. There's an H1 and an H2 and an H3, and 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 so forth. And this is a hierarchy. And this has been none of this has been uh, done right here. Um, so what I think I would do instead. I mean, there's a few things that I would do if I look when I look in your meta description. I can see that you've got. Um, You've got something decent here, right? So all the latest news and talks from business software conference for people growing long-term, sustainable, profitable software businesses. Okay, that's you know that's cool. I don't, I haven't counted the words on this, but um, it seems like it might be a shade long. But it's it's uh, this tells me what it is. So why don't we put that up front? Why don't we put up the conference for people growing long-term, sustainable, profitable software businesses and lead with that right here. The other thing that I would do is I would immediately get out, uh, I would get rid of the search box that you have here, unless I'm wrong and you you have stats that say that everybody that shows up, you know, or 20% or 30% or of people are, are using that, then leave it. Otherwise, um, I would do this, you know, something like get free access to X number of videos of uh, our past conference talks. Uh, now and then uh, I would I would really go for the email uh, right away. So if I go, let's 
like this. Okay. You're not, it's not thanking me for anything. Create a free BOS account. Thanks for signing up. You've been added to say thank you. Okay. Select from our reward list below. Blah, blah. User details. Please note you cannot change the username. Okay. You could have just popped my email address in there. There aren't any rewards necessarily to speak of. Um, so I just kind of get dumped. I guess you don't love me. You don't love me after all, and you just say blah, blah to me. Okay, that's fine. Um, and so there's a few different things that I, that I, would, that I would start with here. Um, I, might look at, um, I might look at some calls to action. Over here on the right, we've got categories and recent posts and whatnot, but we don't have, so that's good. We've got a call to action in here in the middle. Um, um, there's an awful lot of calling to book now, and I don't know if that's where you want to go first. I mean, I think the first thing that you want to do is get them to see what you're really all about, and then well, once you've done that, then you can, you're going to have a lot easier time driving them through to, to book now. Uh, I mean, what you could do is if you're going to, you're going to send them X number of, of videos, then what you can do after that is you can go and over time, you can be dripping these out and you can send them like, hey, have you seen this video yet? Here's the video where Patrick McKenzie talks about X, Y, and Z. And the reason that, you know, this is uh, so awesome is because at the end we, and then, you know, click this link and drive them back here. You could set up a little autoresponder series. Um, and then I'd, I would, um, I would probably put some calls to action in the, in the sidebar. Um, I'd probably put your, I'd be looking for email addresses rather than a registration here. Um, you also have a couple of different uh, call things going on uh, happening here in the same box. If this is going to be a call to action um, box, then I think I would just ask for one thing to be happening here. I just discovered that this is a link, um, which... I wouldn't know, like, are these, should these be links? Oh, no, it's a menu. So I think a few things are happening. One is that I think you need to get straight with your your styling on the, on the page. Um, where do they, what do the colors mean? Do they mean I should click on them or that I shouldn't? I think I'd look at refining what you're asking for and how you're asking for it. I would... I would again ditch this and I would probably maybe I'd even lock this uh, up here give this a, a uh, just fix this up here until somebody has opted in um, and again I would put something more like you know get X number of uh, videos for for free and then instead of dumping them onto the onto this uh, blah blah uh, page I think let's see this Yeah, I just don't get it. This doesn't. Um, this isn't telling me. There's not. There's nothing further for me to do here. And now I know that you've got my email and that you have uh, brought me to this page. I would. I would consider making this second step um, something really useful or an upsell. So you've already got somebody who's committed to say okay, here's my email address and now they've landed here. Well, you've got to maintain that uh, trust with them here and maybe even take it to the next level. And so from here, uh, you're just not giving, you're not giving me what I would need in order to, um, in order to feel like I should put anything in here. Uh, I would consider doing away with all of this all of this other stuff I would do, especially on the landing page, I would get rid of all of all of this. Um, and we don't need this anymore because I've already signed up. So all of this should go away. 
Uh, and then I would, here, I would probably show me a video, maybe, uh, a highlights video, and tell me what's going to happen next. That next you're going to send me a link to get access uh, to these videos. And then you're going to say, uh, if you're, now I saw that you're selling some videos in some other places, but then now I don't, I haven't seen it again a lot here. Um, there's no, you know, there's nothing else that would, that would tell me that's happening. I'd either look to move somebody, you know, we're, su we're sending you these 40 videos, these 17, these 10 videos now to get access to our complete library of X number of videos and it's whatever, $149 in, you know, money back guarantee. Or what you could say here is, you know, our next conference is on, um, is, uh, X date and uh, here's our list of uh, speakers register now here's a video from past conference here's a list of speakers for this coming conference register now something but it's kind of a wasted page uh, but I, I would imagine not too many people are landing here because they're probably not putting their email in the sign up for updates because you're not not really giving them um, not really enticing them to do so so boy I sound like a jerk well, here's the thing. Let's see what else we've got here. I'm not a designer, so I don't want to pick apart uh, light on dark, but I do want to pick apart the calls to action that you have and um, in some of the ways that you're moving people through. See, now I, now I know what, what the links are because it seems like on your blog pages your links are your links are green and that makes sense, but on your homepage they aren't and that's confusing. In fact, the first time I visited your website, I think I clicked on this a few times hoping something would happen and nothing would happen. So that's it, Mark. I hope that's helpful for you and uh, if you wanna talk more about it, I would give you some more specific things to do. Thanks.